Hi everyone, welcome to Tony on Real Estate Education. In this video, we will be discussing some of the potential dangers real estate agents can face on a daily basis and how to avoid them. For example, you wouldn't pick up a hitchhiker off the street and put them in your car, right? Well then why would you put a buyer who is a complete stranger in your car and take them around and show them houses? Or even worse, get into a complete stranger's car and let them drive. The safest bet is to have buyers follow you from house to house in their own car. So this video was not created to scare people out of getting into real estate. It is meant to scare people into being aware of their surroundings at all times. Let's start right off with a state test question. Yes, you will be asked questions regarding real estate safety on the real estate school and state exams. Where is the best place to meet a buyer for the first time? The answer is, can anyone guess? In the real estate office. Why? Think about it. The buyer will be less likely to do something if everyone in the office has seen them. Here is another thing to consider with buyers. Don't take them into a vacant house alone. Have the buyers walk through the house while you wait outside or by the front door. I remember years ago when I first started in real estate, I was around 19 years old. I was showing a vacant house with no electricity to a man. It was just the two of us. We were in the basement when it occurred to me that no one knew where I was. What a foolish position to have put myself in. When an agent leaves the office to show houses, someone, whether it be someone in the office, a friend, or a family member, should have a list of the houses that the agent is showing and should have a rough idea of when the agent will be back. I personally like the buddy system, two agents teaming up. As we all know, there is safety in numbers. One agent can be showing the house while the other stands near the door or outside. In keeping with the vacant house scenario, it would be a good idea to preview the house before showing it. First, walk around the property. Make sure that there are no windows broke or doors ajar. That could mean squatters are in the house or possibly animals. Stay out. Don't confront. Call the listing agent to let them handle it. Here's another tip. Always, always, always keep your phone on you and make sure that it's charged. There are safety apps that can be downloaded on phones that can send danger alerts along with your location. By the way, don't bring your bag inside the house when you're doing a CMA for a homeowner. Agents should leave their bags and any other personal items in the trunk of their car. They should only enter a house with the necessary paperwork and their phone. If an agent insists on bringing in their bag, they should be sure to carry it while being shown around the house. I know agents who have left their bag at the kitchen table while being shown the house and later noticed money missing. An agent can be upstairs in house and not know what is going on downstairs. Agents, please don't wear a lot of jewelry. It can attract unnecessary attention. You may as well have a target on your back. It's a good idea to carry pepper spray and a flashlight. If the flashlight is strong enough, it could temporarily blind someone, which could give the agent or the victim a few extra seconds to escape. If you're feeling anxious or uncertain, you can keep your keys in your hands just in case you need to leave quickly or they can also be used as a weapon. Here's something else to consider. When an agent pulls up to a house, the safest place to park is in the street. If an agent parks in the driveway, someone could intentionally park behind them and block them in. When showing a house to buyers, always let them go first. It will be easier to keep an eye on them as you show them around. It would also be a good idea to have a story readily available to tell if an agent feels like they need to get out of the situation quickly. For example, say something along the lines of, the nurse at my daughter's school just left a message saying that I need to pick her up immediately. A code word or sentence could also be used to alert someone that you are in danger. For example, texting someone saying, please pick up Sydney from school at 2.30, when in fact Sydney is your dog's name. When a real estate agent puts a homeowner's house on the market, it is a good idea to educate homeowners regarding safety measures. For example, they should never leave mail around the house. They should keep all drugs out of sight and also out of the bathroom cabinets. 
I know an agent while showing a house found one of her buyers rummaging through a bathroom cabinet. Lastly, nobody should be conducting an open house alone. As stated earlier, one agent should be showing the house while the other stays at the front door. Don't forget, criminals don't have to be big, grungy, and look mad crazy. The most dangerous ones are unassuming, simply appearing to be a nice couple looking for a nice house in a nice neighborhood. What has been reported is that one of them coaxes the agent outside with questions, while the other is in the house alone looking for valuables to steal. Having two agents would absolutely help combat that problem. I will leave you with one last bit of advice. Take some time out of your busy schedules and take a few self-defense classes. I can guarantee you it'll be well worth it.